All right, we have a um, little bit harder process for graphing today. Um, instead of graphing in vertex form, which is really easy to graph from with the A, B, H, and K, we're going to graph in um, standard form. Um, and we've done a little bit of it before. I'm going to point out that it is AX squared plus BX plus C. So in this one, if you see that right there, your A is that leading coefficient of 1, your B is negative 4, and your C is negative 5. <clears throat> so the first thing you do is you find the line of symmetry. And we're going to be using this line right here. So line of symmetry, we did this a couple days ago. It's negative B over 2A, so it's negative negative 4, which is positive 4, over 2 times 1, which 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, the line of symmetry is x equals 2. That's that line down the middle of your graph. All right, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say line of symmetry, x equals 2. So when we graph it, we'll, we'll get it graphed pretty quick there. All right. Now, then we find the vertex. Well, the vertex happens to be on the line of symmetry, so I know my vertex has an x value of 2. All right, so all I do is I plug in my 2 into x. So that's y equals 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 2, which is minus 8 minus 5. Negative 4 minus 5, negative 9. So it's 2, negative 9. All right. And your y-intercept is important. Remember, your y-intercept is whenever your x value is 0. If I plug in 0 there, that's 0 squared minus 4 times 0 um, plus negative 5. I don't know why they changed that sign right there. But um, it's just 4, negative 5. Or 0, negative 5, sorry. And because um, 0 squared is 0, minus 4 times 0 is 0, plus negative 5 gives me 0, negative 5. So let's come over here. We know our vertex is um, 2, I think they said negative, we said negative 9, so 2, negative 9, and my y-intercept was 0, negative 5. Alright, so, find two more points on the same side of the axis of symmetry as the y-intercept, so here we go. Um, if we plug in 1, that's 1 squared, minus 4 times 1, minus 5, 1 squared is 1, minus 4, minus 5, negative 3, negative 8. So we got one point of 1, negative 8. I'm going to mark that over here too. Let's say that we know there's a point of 1, negative 8. All right, and let's go ahead and do negative 1. So negative 1 squared, notice I'm using parentheses. Negative 4 times negative 1, minus 5. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is actually positive 4 minus 5, so that's 5. That's 0, isn't it? So we got a point of negative 1, um, 0. So here we go. Negative 1, 0. So let's go ahead and plot all these. So my line of symmetry is 2. goes right down the middle, right here. It's my line of symmetry. On that line of symmetry is a vertex of 2, negative 9, which looks to be... What do these go by? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 would be down here, so negative 9 would be right about there. Um, y intercept 0, negative 5, so it's right about there, which means on the other side there's one of those as well, right? It's symmetrical. I've got 1, negative 8, which is here. So that's 3, negative 8 right there. We can say, right, same distance from the line of symmetry. We've got um, negative 1, 0, which means out here at, um, oh, that's negative 2. Negative 1, 0, so at negative 5 we got 0. And then we can graph it. We're just kind of getting points and plotting them. Why is it important to find additional points before graphing a quadratic function? Well, 4 an accurate graph. All right, we're going to call this the first two pages, and um, we're going to go from here. I will skip to, um, what, 439, and we'll do a graph over there. Talk to you soon.